gentles, perchance you wonder at this show, but wonder on till truth make all things plain. This man is Pyramus, if you would know. This beauteous lady, this be certain. This man with lime and rub cast doth present wall, that vile wall which did these lovers thunder. And through walls, chink, poor souls, they are content to whisper, as the witch, let no man wonder. This man with lanthorn, dog, and bush of thorn presenteth moonshine, for if you will know, by moonshine did these lovers think no scorn to meet at Ninus' tomb there, there to woo. This grisly beast, which lie in height by name, the trusty Thisbe, coming burst by night, did scare away, or rather did affright. And as she fled, her mantle see did fall, and which lion vile with bloody mouth did stain. Anon comes Pyramus, sweet youth and tall, and finds his trusty Thisbe's mantle slain, whereat with blade, with bloody, blameful blade, he bravely broke his boiling bloody breast, and the, thiz, the trusty Thisbe carrying in mulberry shade, his dagger drew and died for all the rest. Let lion, moonshine, wall, and lovers twain at large discourse while here they do remain. I want the lion be to speak. No wonder, my lord, one lion may when many asses do. In this same interlude it doth befall that I, one snout by name, present a wall. And such a wall as I would have you think that had in it a crannied hole or chink through which lovers Pyramus and Thisbe did whisper often very secretly this loam, this rough cast, and this stone doth show that I am that same wall, the truth is so. This, the cranny, is right and sinister, through which the fearful lovers are to whisper. Which is thy lime and hair to speak with her? It is the wittiest partition that ever I heard discourse, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> Pyramus draws near the wall, silence. Oh, grim looked night. Oh, night with you so black. Oh, night, whichever art when day is not. Oh, night. Oh, night. Alack, alack, alack. I fear my Thisbe's promise is forgot. And thou, oh, wall. Oh, sweet, oh, lovely wall. That stands between her father's ground and mine. Thou, oh wall, oh sweet, oh lovely wall, show me thine chink to blink through with mine eye. <laughs> Thanks, courteous wall. Joe shield thee well for this. But what see I? No, Thisbe, do I see? Oh, wicked wall, through whom I see no bliss. Cursed be thy stones for thus deceiving me. The wall, methinks, being sensible, should curse again. No, in truth, sir, he should not. Deceiving me is Thisbe's cue. She is to enter now, and I am to spy her through the wall. Oh. You shall see, it will fall pat as I told you. Yonder, she comes. <laughs> I see a voice. Now will I to the chink to spy, and I can hear my Thisbe's face. <gasps> Thisbe! My love, oh, I... <laughs> My love, thou art, my love, I think. Think what thou wilt. I am thy lover's grace. And like Lymander, am I trusty still? And I like Helen, till the fates me kill. Not Shephelus to Procris was so true. As 
Persephone Saprocris, I to you. Oh, kiss me through the hole of this vile wall. To meet me straight away. Tide life, tide death, I come without delay. <laughs> Thus have I, while my part discharged so, and being done, thus wall away doth go. <laughs> now <it's from> <laughs> Now's the mural down between the two neighbors. No remedy, my lord, when walls are so willful to hear without warning. This, this is the silliest stuff that ever I heard. <laughs> the best is what shatters, and the worst is no worse, if imagination amend them. It must be your imagination, then, and not theirs. <laughs> you whose gentle hearts do fear the smallest monstrous mouse that creeps on floor may now perchance both quake and tremble here when lion rough in wildest rage doth roar then then know that i one snug joiner am a lion fell no else no lions damn for if i should as lion come in strife into this place twere pity on my life a very a very gentle beast of a good discretion. The very best at a beast that ever I saw, my lord. This lion is a very fox for his valor. True, and a goose for his discretion. Not so, my lord, for his valor cannot carry his discretion, and the fox carries the goose. His discretion, methinks, cannot carry his valor, for the goose does not carry the fox. It is well leave of his discretion. Let us listen to the moon. <coughs> This lanthorn doth the horn and moon present. He should have worn the horns on his head. He is no crescent, and his horns are invisible in the circumference. <coughs> this lanthorn doth the horn and moon present, and I the man. This is the greatest error of all the rest. The man should be put in the lanthorn. How else is he the man in the moon? He dares not come there for the candle, for you see it is already in snuff. I am aweary of this moon, would he would change. Well, into his discretions, he is in the wane. In all courtesy, in all reason, we must stay with the time. Proceed, moon. <laughs> all that I have to say is that the lanthorn is the moon, I the man in the moon, this thornbush my thornbush, and this dog my dog. Why, these should all be in lanthorn, for these are all in the moon. Oh, but silence, here comes Thisbe. Here is Minnie's tomb, but where is my love? <laughs> well roared, lion. Well run, Tisby. Up! <laughs> well shone moon. <laughs> Truly the moon shines with a good grace. <laughs> Well, mouse, the lion. And so the lion vanished. And then came Pyramus. Sweet moon, I thank thee for thy sunny beams. <coughs> I thank thee now for shining so bright, for by thy gracious golden glittering gleams, I trust to take of truest Thisbe sight. <gasps> but stay, oh, spite. But Mark, poor knight, what dreadful doll is here? Eyes, do you see? <laughs> How can it be? O oh, dainty duck, O oh, dear, thy mantle good, what stained with blood? O oh, feet, come, come, cut, thread, and thrum, quail, crush, conclude, and quell. Oh, the passion of the death of a dear friend. 
Be sure, my heart, that I pity the man. Oh, wherefore, nature, didst thou lions frame, since lion vile hath here deflowered, my dear, which is, no, no, which was the fairest dame that looked, that liked, that lived, that loved with cheer? Come, tears, confound, <laughs> out sword, and wound, the pap of Pyramus, I that left pap, where heart doth hop, thus die I, thus, 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 now am I dead. Now am I fled, my soul is in the sky. Tongue, lose thy light, moon, take thy flight. Now die, 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 die. No die, but an ace for him, for he is but one. Less than an ace man, for he is nothing, he is dead. With the help of a surgeon, he might recover and prove a very merry ass. How chance moonshine be gone before Thisbe comes back and finds her lover? Well, I believe that the starlight will guide him, or her, and, uh, and her passion will end the play. Methinks she should not use a long one on such a pyramus. I hope she will be brief. A moat will turn the balance. Which pyramus, which Thisbe is for the better? He for a man, God warrant us. She for a woman, God bless us. <laughs> and she hath spied him already with those sweet eyes. And thus she moans, of course. Asleep, my love? <laughs> what? Dead, my dove? Oh, Pyramus, arise! Speak! Speak! <laughs> Quite dumb! Dead? Dead! <laughs> <laughs> a tomb, a tomb must cover thy sweet eyes. These my lips, this cherry nose, these yellow cowslip cheeks are gone, gone. Lovers, make moan, his eyes were green as leeks. <laughs> Sisters three, come, come to me with, with hands as pale as milk. Lay them in gore, since you have sure with shears his thread of silk. Tongue, not a word. Come, trusty, come, trusty, come, trusty sword. My, my breast and breath. What? <laughs> and farewell, friends. Thus, this be ends. Adieu. 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 Ah! <laughs> Moonshine and lion are not to bury the dead. Aye, at wall too. <laughs> no, assure you, the wall is down that parted their fathers. Uh, uh. <laughs> Will it please you to hear an epilogue or a bergamask dance of our company? No epilogue, I pray you, for your play needs no excuse. For if Pyramus was hung on Disby's garter, that would be some tragedy. But since your play does not end in this suite, <laughs> let us hear your burgomass.
Francisca Duke.